My scooter has this trunk attachment, which is bolted directly to the frame. I've always wanted to be able to tow a trailer on my scooter to pick up larger materials, so I thought this was a good starting point to build a semi-quick release hitch. I started, as many projects start, in Fusion 360, modeling up just the shape of the base plate that I want to weld to. It took a few tries because it was a complex shape. Then it was just a matter of gluing that template to the metal and getting to work with the metal cutoff wheel on the grinder. Moving right along, we got our base plate roughed out. Next thing we need to do is add these little tabs, something like this. Up until this point, I had only welded just a couple of test pieces on some scrap metal. Now it was time to actually weld two functioning parts together. I think they turned out just fine. I'm not a natural by any stretch of the imagination, but I think this will hold up just fine. Once I decided on the length and angle of that main extension, things really started coming together. I chose to use a small kit trailer from Northern Tool for this project. Uh, it's 40 inches by 48 inches long, weighs about 140 pounds, and I picked mine up on sale for $239. And then this is what I ended up for support. I've got two little ones up front here. I've got two in the back going this way. All right, I've got everything welded up for the most part. I think it's time to do some stress tests. Throw it on the scooter, and before I go through and you know clean and finish all these up, uh, even see if a scooter can tow a trailer, because to be honest, I have no idea. Can't handle this. Good. I'm sure you're all laughing at home right now like this in any way it compares to the momentum of the trailer, but I suppose I should at least do this much. Definitely going to need some grade 8 bolts if I'm going to use this thing permanently. All right, I've got it up on its kickstand, so this is up higher than normal, but start with this, see what happens. I'm going to be able to stand up. Okay, I'm going to need to weld some hooks here, probably, or maybe just drill some holes back here. Well, there you go. And I think I nailed the angle. You'll see it's a little bit high now, but hopefully when I sit on it and put any weight on the trailer, that levels out nice. I guess let's uh, go for a quick test drive. It felt awesome. I mean, you could feel it for sure, but it felt more like there was someone riding behind you, like you was the second person on there. Uh, braking was still responsive. It still went and stopped. But it's time for a high speed test. And to do that, I'm gonna need lights and safety change. So I went to the hardware store, just got a universal light adapter. Let's get the trailer lights working so we can actually take this thing out on the road and uh, see if it's even something we wanna continue doing or if it's just completely unsafe. Oh, you're 
circle, I'm like so close. Whew. Not ideal. And I'll fix it someday. But I want to continue testing. I didn't want to have to spend all afternoon grinding those off. So I thought a fitting inaugural trip on the scooter with the trailer would be down to the metal supply store to pick up all the materials I needed to finish this project. My plan is to add a V-nose, side rails, and a built-in ramp that slides underneath the trailer and stows away when you're in travel. After a coat of paint, I was done with the hitch and I was ready to start modifying the trailer. But that is going to have to wait until next time. We will see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.